Okay. So, hello and welcome. Welcome back. We're going to be starting off with Zort Nemesis of Forbidden Lands tonight. Now, I have played through this game before, quite a while ago. Um, and I've played it a fair bit in the past. Zort Nemesis is interesting. This is going to be kind of a departure for a lot of games which I play because this is a rather serious game, though. I mean, the plot's serious, but it's not. How to say. The fact that it's serious is kind of interesting because Zork Nemesis is part of the Zork series. Now, Zork is a rather famous series of uh, text adventure games it started off as. I think Zork 1 and 1, 2, and 3 were text adventure games. They're really old. I've played Zork 1 briefly. Um, and then there's. I think some other later ones. There is Zork Grand Inquisitor, which I've heard is pretty good, but I haven't played it. Uh, these ones are all rather light comedy fantasy games. Uh, but Zork Nemesis is very different in that regard. It is very serious. There's no joking in it. Um, it's also kind of spooky in some places as well, but I don't think it's anything that major <laughs> now. Um, it certainly scared me at the time, but that was quite a few years ago. I believe I got this game originally in a collection of games for Activision, uh, which was a box which had three different games in it. Uh, one was Zork Nemesis, another one was a game called Spycraft, and the third game was... I think it was called... Oh, Time Commando, I think it is. You play as a guy in a yellow jumpsuit, and it's like a... What's the... It, it's like a third-person action game, kind of. Except you're fighting and moving over pre-rendered 3D backgrounds, and you're going through the different time periods. So you fight through, like, caveman period, and then, like, Imper um, then Roman period, and then medieval period, and then like cowboys, and then modern period, and then up into future period, and you the end battle is against a giant cyber shark, which represents a virus you're defeating in a in a computer and so on. I actually have finished that game years and years ago. I rather enjoyed it. It is rather clunky for what I remember control wise. Anyway, Spycraft, Sp um, Spycraft, the other one. I never got anywhere. I just couldn't figure it out. That was another adventure game. Zork Nemesis, however, as I said, I have finished. I didn't finish it at the time. I think I ended up having to look up a walkthrough on how to play it. Uh, as for the game itself, well, it, it's an adventure game. A actually an FMV adventure game with pre-rendered 3D backgrounds. I found that the uh, acting in it is uh, pretty alright, but I suppose it would be up to people to determine for themselves whether it is. Let's get started. Now, I had just recently bought this game from GOG.com. Uh, I do have CDs for it. However, the uh, prospects of actually getting it running from the original CDs, it's kind of terrifying. Old games are difficult to get running in the first place. Put an FMV game on top of that, which, you know, would have, obviously, you know, video cutscenes and all that, and ugh, just imagine the pain and all that. This seems to work pretty well out of the box. I did have to change some things. Um... There's a post on the forums on GOG.com which covers this specifically for Zork Nemesis. However, the two things which I had to change was easy enough. You just had to go into the DOSBox config folder, config file uh, for Zork Nemesis, and you have to change the full screen, uh, full screen resolution from desktop to original. And the other one apparently was uh, which I didn't see but I changed was the uh, cycles for the game which I think we put up to about uh, 150,000 so that seems to be working fine from the little bit which I played anyway let's get started with Zork Nemesis 
I suppose this game's more in the starting of mist. No one remembers exactly when it began, but I'll never forget. It began on the day of the Great Eclipse, on the day of my murder. I have lost my only love, and I have lost my life. Now we all lie under the curse. Sometimes a single act can be so evil it can curse the world, unraveling the future. Only the four lost elements will bring the world back into balance. Then I will live again. I have but one hope left, and it is you. No one else dares come here. If this all doesn't just scream like mid 90s FMV adventure games, I don't know what is. What would? Anyway. So, yes, here's the game. Uh, with the uh, resolution changed in the base, it would be a tiny window in the middle of the screen because the uh, resolution is obviously quite small. But this is um, compared to my desktop resolution. But this is much bigger. Still not full screen, but there's not really much I can do about that. Let's have a look at this gate. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be leaving. So, well, at least not that way. Have a look around the courtyard. The way this works is obviously left and right, pan the view around, and if you can go to somewhere, the uh, cursor will change to the icon to depict that you can travel there. Like so on. I think it gets a little red circle in it sometimes when you can do that as well also something else uh, which is different is that in the windows 95 version you would be able to i think go to the top of the screen and it would pop up with like a menu up the top here or like the uh save load options and all that that doesn't work uh in this one so i've had to go into the manual and uh write down the uh shortcut keys for the various options which are simple enough and there's only a few of them anyway. So control S is save. So we'll make a save. Start. And hope that works. There we go. And we'll press control R for restore. See whether that works. Seems to. Uh, control Q is quit. We won't test whether that works. And control P is preferences. And this is a menu. Apparently there's 3D sound. I don't know the difference for that. I suppose it makes it sound a bit more stereo um alchemist level we've completed zero of nine tasks i don't know what that is <laughs> this is the uh panning speed for how fast you want to rotate the camera because it's just when you move the mouse to the edges i think medium is fine for the moment i might lower it a little bit help settings here this is like hints in the game i think you could turn them off uh, i did read in the manual that you could turn them off in the game's in an like an any file for the game or something like that but i don't think we'll need and we'll need help i feel like my memory is going to be good enough to be able to puzzle out most of the uh problems in this so even if i'm not going to solve them immediately i will pretty much know what we'll have to do as i said i did play a fair bit of this but i always got stuck later on um there is one part in the game which i'm wondering how the it's going to be handled because i believe it works off a timer and uh, in old games timers are a bit of a crapshoot because sometimes they're stuck to the uh processing speed of your computer as in king's quest 7 is it there's a moment where you have to use some explosives and uh sometimes when you pick them up they just explode instantly because it's based off your processor speed 
And the timer just goes right down really quickly. Anyway, let's return. And you can also use the keyboard, as I just found. Uh, we'll just use the mouse so people know what I'm doing. Let's head over here to this temple area. I think you can go and have a look at more areas down here, actually. Uh, over here. There's not nothing here, though. There's just benches and there's a fountain there, but we can't go and have a look at it. I rather like this. The setting is quite nice. It would be good with, like, I don't know, just high resolution images. You see, like, massive structure in the background. There is a map for this area in the journal. Um, I don't think I'm going to be showing them off, really. The layout's not too difficult, and we're going to be going back to this place multiple times, so. Let's go into this. Looks like a mausoleum, it seems. A candle there, and there's a sarcophagus here. Let's click on this. Okay, flying violins. What's this? I will be there, waiting at the gates of hell. You will not escape my wrath. Okay. How foreboding. What's this candle do? Finally, someone has come. You've got to help us. They're in the temple. Okay. Spooky apparitions. Mm, let's head out again. Can't go over there. Go over here. Go here. There's another sun symbol there. Uh, is there anything over there? Nope. This area is not that big. Keep heading forward. Ooh, skulls. Spooky. Yes, very spooky. This game... I... Twitch has it down as a horror game. I wouldn't necessarily go as far as saying it's a horror game. There's two parts in this game which uh, spooked me as a kid. Uh, spooked me when I was younger. One in particular is kind of violent. I... At the same time because of the visuals it's not really but it's still kind of eh. it involves decapitations <laughs> but not on like living people it is nowhere near to the level of like phantasmagoria one and two don't worry about that i wouldn't play it if it was <laughs> i'm not one for violence um or gore when it comes to live act live actors it's just violent movies for me no this game's nowhere near like that um the other part which is spooky is more just a dark area, so anyway. But the atmosphere in this game is pretty good. I do enjoy this game. I'm not really one to judge how the acting is. As far as I know, the acting is alright because the actors don't flub their lines. <laughs> um, if acting is over the top, you know, it is kind of an ex you know, a fantastical premise in game, so. Let's have a look at this door here. Uh, hmm. What's this say? When the sun and moon are joined, the entrance to eternity is opened. Okay, it's our first puzzle. I wonder what that means. But well, let's have a look. There's this here and a door knocker. And you just put that like that and it opens. You do it on the left one, the right one is broken. So. Egg of a doorknob. Uh, we can just leave again. But we've come this far. Have you come Oop. to seek the alchemists? Don't waste your time. I killed them all. 
You can do no good here. Okay. Fine, whatever you say, mysterious disembodied voice. Hmm. Has to be bricked up. We can't go through there. What's in here? It's a library. And if I remember, there's a lot of books we can read in here. As I said before, this game is actually based in the uh, Zork setting. So... A lot of this lore will be familiar to people who have played those. I haven't. Um, and I'm not that familiar with a lot of, with a lot of Zork. Um, and as I said earlier, this game is very tonally different. It is very serious, whereas the other Zork games are all kind of tongue-in-cheek. I have a book based on the Zork series. It's, um... Zork, the Forces of Krell. So, I haven't read it, but it's been on my shelf for years. Let's have a look at some of these. What's this say? Symbols. Oh, here's a map of the area which we're in, by the way. Uh, this is the library over here. And note these symbols. Alchemical symbols. Better start memorizing them. Six of Mumberber. <laughs> this is kind of... I, I think this is a recurring element in this game. Because Zork Nemesis is a serious game based off of the Zork series, which is not serious, a lot of the words in it are rather silly. <laughs> From their sarcophagi, they will tell me nothing. I have all but ripped their throats out so that it is to be expected. How many threats can you use upon the dead? It sickens me to live here, a demon trapped in a temple. But I must finish their work and fuel my hate with the power of their quintessence. 22nd of February. Now that I have stolen the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water, I have hidden them in this unholy temple where they will never be found. I cannot risk their discovery and have employed a great number of deadly, lively machinations to assure their seclusion. The last intruder, that meddling spy, Bivotar, never made it past my gallery, but at least he was able to take some time out of out to envy the paintings before I bludgeoned him. However, in the gallery, however, uh, wait a moment. However, in the gallery, the flow of time is as circular as the room, and I made the mistake of killing him before he was ever actually born. I shall wait to see if he returns. Fifteen. Mage, mage, mage. It is most difficult to, f it is more difficult to forge the four alchemical metals than I first thought. I have thought I have learned through a painful process of trial and error that it is not safe to keep the elements in their purified form. The four are not so stupid as they look. Gaining access to their secret laboratories have been a laboured process. I will g go drag a hot poker down Mavel Melvo's rotting belly and see if he cries some out something helpful. 25th Augur. I am tired of this game. I ran I ransacked Sartorius's laboratory today, and while blood flowed down the halls, I made little progress in my quest for his tin. I am as impatient as that stupid spy who thought any fistful of dirt, any drop of water, a spark from his fine Acadian cigar, or a mouthful of his foul breath would constitute an element. I must return to my work with elemental air. As I rise up to my lab and pass the twinkling starfield, the blue reminds me of blue skies, a more peaceful time. But I can remember little of my life before the evil descended, before my bloody rebirth. Okay, someone's having issues, it seems. I'm going to try and take time to read these books because uh, a lot of the lore is something we have to pick up along the way. And from listening to people talk, so... What's this? Astronomy for a New Age. The Brogmiod, uh, the Brogmoid Fallacy, or Why the Earth is Not Flat After All, by Z. Curl Zagan, PHZ. Chaos House Press. Yes, you see, as I said again, the words are very odd. Here's the different, plat um, different planets. Got Melvo there. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Saturnix. Mianus. You are here. Zork. Sophia. Venus Nv. Plato, Cain on Mers, Sartorius on Jupiron, and Hermes. An invitation. It's like our solar system, but different. We invite all the citizens of the Empire to read this book, to ponder in their hearts the message it contains, and then to ask the implementers, in the name of Yorick himself, 
if it is not undeniably, irrefutably, and without doubtably true. Those who pursue this course, the right and proper course of science and progress, rather than clinging to the older tenets of the fearful and folkish Brogmoidism, and that it is not simply the good nature of this one fellow that keeps it and us from falling into the great void. I'm getting sick of all these damned eclipses. Planet must be fully in light. Okay, there's a photograph there. I suppose just be familiar with the planets. Uh, what's this say? Interview with a Gru, I think it says. Yes, Interview with a Gru by Andrew Zilba. The Gru in his natural habitat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you doubted this was Zork, the air in the room lay deadly still, thick with the stench of a Gru in confinement. I could make out just his faint profile in the darkness, the barest glint of his razor claws, the faintest gurgle of his fetid breath. I took a step close closer and was about to introduce myself when suddenly the gurgling grew louder and then a sort of gnashing of teeth and lo the hulking belly drew a gleaming bone from uh, the hulking bully drew a gleaming bone from his jaws and tossed it to the floor with a grunt it clattered at my feet and as I looked down I saw that it still and the book ends there <laughs> I don't think it went too well for him Okay, the best of, uh, the new Zorka. Scoffman Publishing. Goings on about the Empire. Are the recently evacuated Forbidden Lands really cursed, or its Regent Sayovar simply becoming paranoid, now that the Enchanter's Guild composes the first substantial challenge to its political supremacy? The theory of the curse seems legitimated by the dark series of earthquakes, droughts, uh, droughts, missing persons, and general ill humour of the inhabitants of the region following the Great Eclipse. I suppose that might expect, explain why this game's so serious. Though the guild denies responsibility for any black magic in the region, the disappearance of General Kane from Iron Dune suggests political conspiracy. And since we all know the trolls, orcs, and gnomes of the Flathead Mountains are only waiting for the slightest hint of civil strife to stake their own claim to that corner of the Empire, the clock is ticking on the Forbidden Lands. I made a small journey to the desolate region south of Aragain, venturing southwest of the Frigid River, to find out for... Is there a way to... Or is that just the entire book? I suppose that's the entire book. I mean, I am clicking on the edges. Uh, yep, okay. It seems like this would, you know, light up if I could go further. Alchemy of Pure Love. The Alchemy of Pure Love by C. Barrios. Copied right 875 GUE. Vast Wasteland Press. Explore this further in lab. Okay, uh, the person who's been writing these books written in this one. There is a thing confusedly formed, born before heaven and earth, silent and void. It stands alone and does not change, goes round and does not weary. It is capable of being the mother of the world. Pure love, the willing and eternal joining of two souls, is the fifth element, the quintessence, or the philosopher's stone. The sun and moon are two magical principles, one active, the other passive, this masculine, that feminine. There is not a compound in all nature, but hath in these two luminaries, a little sun and a little moon. Okay. I suppose we're just reading the important parts of these books. We don't want to read the entire things. There's a big planet there, I suppose, of Zork. Is there anything here? Oh, what's this thing? It's a dagger. Okay. We can't seem to pick it up, or it just lights up when we try to, or something like that. It's a box, but I can't actually have a look at that, so. Can we have a look at this pot? Nope. Okay. Let's head back over here. Is that a book? No. Okay, I think we've read all the books, actually. I was thinking that they'd be longer than they were, but, you know. As I said, it has been quite a while since I've played this. Hmm. Okay, we can move that, we can move that, move that, and yeah, move this the other way. 
There we go. Ooh, there's a passage. Okay. Go down here. And a good thing there's torches here. And, uh... Hmm. It's a puzzle, I think. Can I fiddle around with it? Nope. Okay, well, we're just going to leave that then. Oh, and they all set back to how they were. But that's easy enough to sort out. I think there's another boarded up room there. And there, or doorway. There's a courtyard. This looks rather nice. There's some fountains. How lovely. If you click on these horns. Oh, and that turns off the uh, fountain. And the water just pixelates back into place. What about over here? You turn this one off. Hmm. There's a thing there. Okay, that's something. I don't know what that is or what it does. Uh, let's go back here. Why do you persist? My secrets are my own and no one else's. What you seek will only blacken your heart. Okay, sure. Honestly, I don't know why I'm doing this either. Because spooky ghosts go last us too, I suppose. Uh... Hmm. There's some pretty neat drawings on the wall. Like a dragon. Burning like a... Either a person or a demon. Something like that. Hmm. Oh, there's a violin. Interesting. We always do what we're told. We have nothing better to do. <laughs> uh... I suppose this is the lab he was we saw mentioned in one of the books. Hmm. Okay. There's a bunch of broken alchemical symbols. What's over here? Melvo, may he burn in hell. That looks like the uh disc which we saw in the door over there. picture I think someone being eaten by a serpent or something like that I can't really make out what that is it looks like a demon in a pot uh, someone else getting burned by a demon dragon oh we can go up here this place must be very difficult to wait. Oh well, whatever. Hmm. Okay. A scientist or something. There's a mine. That's uh I don't know. Someone in a little shack. And someone staring into water. Okay. Hmm. Let's go back down. Yeah, we just climbed up and down that ladder there. I do wish that there was transitions between these locations. In some other games, which are first-person FMV games like this, or pre-rendered, you actually have little, like, you know, animations of the uh, screen bobbing between the different areas you can look around. In this one, it just instantly transitions between them. Makes it a little difficult to tell where you're going, but I won't. I'll try and not move around too quickly, I suppose. A bunch of discs with lips on them. And there's a scroll here. What's this say? You will come to see the one thing in this in its correspondency. 
correspondences. As Duperon, symbol, is to tin, okay, and air, and as Burz is to, oh, as Duperon is to tin and air, as Burz is to iron and earth, as Saturnax is to lead and fire, as Venusums is to copper and water. Okay. The body attracts heaven, and this takes place in accordance with the great divine order. So it hath been, and so it always must be, from Alpha to Alpha to Omega, from the beginning of Zork to the end of time. It is true without lie, certain and without doubt, that what is below is like what is above, and what is above is like what is below, to accomplish the miracles of the one thing. So it is written in the Emerald Tabulet of Hermes, Emerald Table of Hermes, this is the first principle of our great work, the one thing. Of all created things, the condition whereof is transitory and frail. There is only one single principle, all created things proceeding from one matter, not each separately from its own peculiar matter. Any imperfect earthly matter can be transmuted into its utmost degree of perfection. From the basest, basest of metals can perfect gold and silver be distilled. From the basest of mortal flesh can eternal life be wrought. This great mystery lies in the elusive power of the quintessentia, the transformative fifth element, the element of the spirit, the quintessence. Whoever possesses its secret can unlock the great mystery of the cosmos. You will come to see... Oh, and it just loops back around. Okay. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Uh, let's have a look at these. February 3. I tried to contact Dr. Vixen about the meaning of the alchemy plate symbols. He told me that all symbols have meanings in alchemy, and that everyone is controlled by the orientation of these symbols. He could not, however, tell you more abuse. The man is nearly deaf and blind, a condition that I feel describes perfectly my search for answers. Okay. Uh, and there's no subtitles in this game, I apologise for that. It's a bit difficult to make out what he's hearing, what, what they're saying. I will try to be quiet during them to make it easier to tell. I think there was some issue can't remember what it was. I read that sometimes the music will keep playing during the uh, cutscenes and when people are talking. I th we think we should be fine on that. It has been stopping, so... You know, it is at least quiet when this is happening. I live every day with the reminder of the horror they've inflicted on the others. Well, their crimes were great, and I had to be judge, jury, and executioner. Yet they do not succumb to my torture. Sartoria seems the weakest, but even that bastard will not break his silence. Okay. Last day of the year of the misuse. I've hidden the sources of their powers away from their control. Without them, they are unable to hold back the very elements they use to keep dominion over. Four key steps used in alchemy. Sublimation, distillation, calcification, and coagulation. Still, I know there is more to be found. Something is missing. Some vital step. The fortune is nearly gone. I am going in search of answers elsewhere. Rumors speak of riches beyond the hills. I have discovered a vast subterranean land filled with magic and mysteries. However, I haven't found any creature knowledgeable in the black arts. A wizard may be somewhere underground, but I have yet to find him. The other treasure hunters have discovered the ruins, and I've had to kill them to protect my belongings. Okay. I've been describing the great underground there. I'm not too, I, I, I don't know. As I said, I know basically nothing of the lore of Zork. <laughs> but apparently this guy is looking for uh, this 
guy is looking for things to do with the alchemies. He's been torturing some alchemists and uh, hasn't been having a lot of luck, so he's gone off somewhere to have a look. Which is lucky, and he's not here. Unless that was him talking to us before. I suppose it was, but... Okay. Is that a book we can read there? Hey, it is. Some small progress. I can now link each of my rotting alchemists with their respective signs. Melvo has mastered the element of fire and has made a lucrative career of fire worship along the way. Sartorius, my mad doctor, is air, precisely because it is largely this element that fills his pompous brain. Cain must have chosen earth because his head is filled with sod and his soul is consumed with earthly things. And Sophia, mistress of the frigid river, conservatory is water, as befits the cold hag. I have secreted their alchemical elements away in the temple, employing as security a complicated series of machinations, the solutions of to which I alone know. They will never be able to reclaim their powers or their secret science, they will never be able to surpass the nefarious obstacle of the starfield. They will rot unavenged in hell. Still, I find myself spending endless hours in the lab with the shades drawn. My work with air has been frustrating thus far. I accept the irrefutable precept that air has no colour. I will keep working alone in the dark until I find the best methods of purification, but make no doubt I will possess the four elements and then the four metals. I will find the quintessence and forge the eclipse. There is no hatred stronger, no power greater than that which will be mine. Okay, sounds bad. The bad guy, we should probably try and stop him. <laughs> Another bricked up door. Uh, there's a way to continue there, but let's go all the way around this courtyard. There's a way out there. There's a door on the ground there. Actually, that's the door which belongs here. I think it's been torn off its hinges. Uh, this is into the library. Okay, let's go out here then. Actually, no, we'll go the other way, just so that makes more sense. So we go in here. And that's where we just were. And there's this painting here. Uh, I'm going to actually save before I do this. I mean, as I said, I know what this is. This is a hint. And I think it gives you hints on what to do next and all that. I cannot help you at this time, Wanderer. Go explore these lands further before you return to me. Okay. I think there's two places you could click here. I cannot help you at this time, Wanderer. Go explore these lands further before you return to me. Okay. That's fine. I think there's like... I think you can click here as well to get like a lesser hint or something like that. Anyway. But I don't think we should necessarily need that. And we haven't done anything of note to require a hint, so. There's a tree there over a gazebo. And there's a sundial here. With different alchemical symbols on it. As well as the moon and... I suppose maybe the sun? Let's pick up this. We do have an inventory. Um, I think we could access it if we had this menu which would pop up at the top here, but I can right click and it will just bring the item into my hand. So we have this pointy stick. Maybe we can poke someone with it. Let's go in here. Ooh, this is a big place. Hmm. Okay. Right, there's these... Altars here? And there seems to be some people inside of them. Uh, how's it going, chap? Okay. 
Got anything to say? Who's there? Melancholy, blood, color, phlegm. Poor humans. A human. He did this to me. Spiritus non corpus. <laughs> He's mad. Okay, it's kind of impressive you're able to talk without any apparent air. I think we've found the alchemists. Uh, hello, who are you? Ah, you can't. Is it you, Nemesis? You're in danger. Hurry! Okay. Yeah, uh, it did say that he had, that this fellow we'd been reading the books about had said that he had separated the uh, alchemists from their elements. So they don't seem to be they don't seem to be doing too well without that. Okay, this nemesis sounds like bad news. I'm, I can't really remember all their names. Uh, this one's going to be, I think, Commander Kane or General Kane. He lives. <laughs> um, he's the element of Earth. I think the guy for air was Saturnax. And the guy for fire was Melvo, I think it was. Anyway. So this one for must be for water and it must be Sophia. How long has that doom been there? I don't know. I don't think we get a I don't think so far we've seen an exact time period. At least maybe a year. Okay. Top rate acting just like we had in the 90s. Just like we like our 90s in FMV gays. <laughs> I don't find it that bad. I mean, yeah, I suppose it's a bit over the top, but yeah. Anyway, I don't find it like distractingly bad. I suppose that's the point. As I said earlier, at least they don't seem to be flubbing their lines or they're putting like emotion into their readings and all that, so. <laughs> I can't say who the actors are though. Um, I haven't looked that up and I'd have to write it all down to remember. Let's have a look. What's up here? Hmm. Okay. 
there's a star there and different elements and triangles. I do like the music a lot in this game though. It's very nice. Sort of I I do really like sort of droning atmospheric backgrounds. Music. Uh Okay, anything else we need to do before? Eh, not really. Let's go up here. Okay. There's some doors. We can open them. We can go up or down. Let's go up. Okay. Uh, apparently that didn't work. I opened up that one before. I don't know how that works. Go up the steps and we end up back where we were. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Okay. Why can't I open that now? I'm suspecting the uh, animations aren't working properly. Did last time. Yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, we're not going anywhere with that. Okay, let's have a look at this. What's this thing? Okay, notes. And what's this? Okay. How's people's uh, pitch recognition? Let's listen to this again. Okay. Da, da, da. No. Da, da. Da, da, da. Hmm. Da, that's right. So that one. And the next one was like, da. Da, da. That one. And then it was like two notes at once. It was like a higher one, like da, and then the lower one, I think. I'm pretty sure I've got it right. This is what you have to do. Um, and the puzzles don't change, so. I'm kind of guessing this last bit. Don't need all of them on. There's a bit of popping there. I apologize. Come on. Something like this. Pretty sure it's this. I 
have done this before. <laughs> um, can we fiddle with these? No. Maybe there's something else we can do. We'll stop fiddling with that. <laughs> I probably nearly got it, but, you know. Apparently I'm not as capable of recognizing tones as I thought I was. I thought I had it correct. Not like I know what notes they are, but... Anyway. Um... Actually, no, I think that is what we need to do next. Yeah, there is here. What's this? Hmm. Okay. That lit up a symbol there. There's a bunch of different... I suppose this is... Looking at it now, I think this is a... Uh... What's it called? A uh, map of constellations. So I can't make out exactly what they all are. Whether they're owls or whether they're Zorkian you know, constellations. Hello, horns. Okay, I guess that's a fire. Sounds like an earthquake. I'm guessing Earth. Sounds like a storm. Air? Wind? And was that rain? But well, we've already had water, haven't we? I mean, there's a storm and then there's rain. Water, air. It, it, okay, so there's like four elements and then there's an extra one. Hmm. Did that change this? Nope. Okay. Can we like click on this? Yeah, we can. Stop this. Eh. <laughs> One of these puzzles. You have to like light them all up. Do these do anything? Old school game, you see. Yes, yes. It is. Zork Nemesis. This game I have played before, and I have finished it before, but... We'll be trying to puzzle our way through it. I mean, we had all these lit up. That was pretty easy. Yeah. Oh, hey, that's done something. Okay, it made a staircase appear. How about that? Apparently it burst through the roof too, what was all those falling rocks. No. As laughable as FMV games are generally, I think this game's actually pretty good in how it does things. Uh, I think that's turn around. 
but we don't want to go back down. And I hear air. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like a gas leaking from a bottle. Hmm. Okay. A bunch of coloured butterflies. Right. Okay. Hmm. I'll profess I have finished this puzzle before. I cannot say what all of this is for. However, there should be somewhere around here. A button or something which we need to press. Is it this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I get that. It's like a cockroach, and this one's a dark cockroach, so the uh, shutters close. And... Wow, this seems... it is filled with, uh, gas. It's a different colour. We can't move this one. That's broken. What about this one? Okay. Go there. That's changing the colour of gas in the, uh, orb there. That changed to purple. Okay. So we've got red, blue, yellow, and there's green there, and this is like light blue or teal? And they all reset when we leave, because, you know, it's showing them from a distance and they can't have screens depending on how many different variations you may put it in. Okay, so... That's all the colours. Red, blue, yellow, magenta, I suppose, and teal. I suppose it's a, a balance between them all. Pretty much. Except red's lower, less than the other ones. If we put, like, red there, yellow, blue, hey! That seemed to do something. Hmm. Seems like we found one of the elements. That really didn't take too long. I'm guessing you're going to be rather grateful. Oh. Pure air. Oh, pure life. Oh yes, this is good. This is so very, very good. You understand, we weren't innocents. We were alchemists, rebels, explorers, risking everything in the search for eternal life. The search began with my father. He was a scientist too. When he was on his deathbed, I made him a promise. I gave him my word that I would continue his work and never end until I had found the answer. And I did. Now the nemesis seeks it for his own dark purposes. If he learns our secret, it will be dreadful. Help us. Help us. We cannot do it without you. And you will perish without us. Please, help us. Hmm. Okay, strange mystical person. Right, well, that's one of them down. Let's go back to this water puzzle. 
I'm guessing this will lead to another element. Probably water. What was it? Okay. There we go. I think that solved it. A sound happened. Let's try go going up. Hey, here we are, somewhere different. It wasn't that difficult. I knew it wasn't. I, was t I don't know. I did like everything different. Everything except for that. W whatever. What's this? The Frobiolithic Glacier Epos, 1 million BE. Okay. Again, don't worry if you don't know the words. I don't know them either. Zork is weird. The Frobolothic. The Frobolothic. Frobozolothic. Frobozolithic. Frobozolithic. Ah, jeez. <laughs> Frobozolithic Lake Epos 50,000 BE. There we go. Good gravy. The Brogmolithic Volcanic Epos. 30,000 BE. I suppose that's supposed to be Epo. It's like a volcano. Can't actually get a picture of it, can we? Um, okay. We'll leave that for the moment. Let's look at the rest of these. What's this? The Cursiolithic present, the age of magic. Okay. That does actually look like the temple we're in, I think. The Futurolithic age. It's like mashing things together. Is that... I... That might actually be from one of the Zork games. That might... I think you start on this path in one of, like... One of the Zork games. And you go down a mountain or something like that. And there's no, uh, sixth painting. Okay. Oh, hang on. No, oh, I missed one. This one. The Zork Eolithic Epos. The construction of the temple. 653... 668... GUE. Yeah, okay, so that's the temple where we're in is getting constructed. And then that's it. Finished. How long did it take? I didn't actually say. Yeah, okay. What's this do? It's a chair! Of course it is. Let's uh, sit in it. Hmm. What's this? It's a image of outside and there's a little basin here okay uh something just happened oh hey that's not where we were looking before okay mountains something's it's changing as I rotate. As I sit and spin, it uh changes the image. I think we've gone as far as we can that way. Okay. Right, so I think it's showing this. And then it's in the temple, which is the present time. If I go around again. It's this one construction of the temple pick up this saw because it's there we can actually put it back down but let's let's take it with us hmm okay volcano Pleasant. That was before the volcanoes? Okay.
Oh, that's very cold. And there's icicles. I can't pick it up. Well, we have got a saw. So let's cut it off. And it's actually fallen into this bowl. Can't go any way back that way, so let's uh, rotate here. Is it still an icicle? It is. Let's rotate again. Oh hey, the icicle melted. And it's water. I'm guessing that's got to qualify. Only need a volcano to melt it. <laughs> yeah, you know. It was very cold ice. <sighs> yes. Water. The spring of life seeps deep into my bones. Thank you. Nemesis. I can withstand you for an eternity. You understand that he murdered us. Worse than that, he murdered two children, Lucienne and Alexandria. Innocents, not like us. Free the others, please. Okay. Most kids had a coming. <laughs> it's an extremely odd game. It is. I don't really want to explain too much because, uh, you know, things are explained as we go along. So. I'm trying to keep mum on stuff and let people draw their own conclusions to what's going on. <laughs> don't worry if you can't remember all of it. I can't. I think if we go over here, there's another place. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Hello, skeleton man. You're holding this door bar. Okay. Remove your fingers. Have you ever had a door flip you off? But now you have. <laughs> uh, so let's see. That was a symbol for Earth. I think we have to make certain symbols appear. It's a little finicky when I click where you have to click on it. There we go. Uh. Hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is a matter of having. No, this is a matter of having certain symbols revealed. I. The life of me, I can't remember which ones or why, but I mean, no. Okay, so let's see. Considering the last two places we went, we went to were related to elements. Um, skeleton bones are found underground. That's probably earth. So the symbol for earth that was the uh, male symbol. I don't know the proper name for it. It was this dude. General Kane. Yes, he's named Kane. K A I N E. Um. So that's that one. Actually, I think when we get it, we just have to click on the central part there. 
Oh no, there we go. Again, I thought I did that. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Spooky skeleton door opens. I do like the ideas and the, like, just things like that in this game. It's very interesting with all the, uh, designs of everything. Hmm. Uh, going down? I think. Okay, it's like a winch there. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I I rotated this and it made the stairs appear because before it was the slide. And we go out here and we're in a cavern. Hmm. Some mine carts or something behind that? It's really hard to see. <laughs> the resolution is as good as it can get, so, you know, you're seeing as much as I can. I think you might actually be seeing it maybe a little bit brighter than I am, but that might be my monitor. Okay, there's a cave. There's a minecart track down there. We have its telescope. And there's a rock. Like a face on it. Okay. Can I do anything with this? It's got the uh, symbol there for Earth, or a symbol used for Earth. It's like a brown triangle. I'm guessing we have to get to that, because it's apparently something like the purest form of Earth or something. Okay, what if we go up here? Hmm. Okay, there's a minecart. Oh, we can hop into minecart. Uh, let's hold off on that. Okay. Different buttons. I'm going to save. Now, it is possible to die in this game. I don't know whether it's possible to die in this uh, in this starting area. I know it's possible to die later on, and I remember certain places where it is po quite possible. But uh, it's not really that common of a thing. Some parts are going to kill you over and over again, but... Uh... Hmm. Okay. Well, that looks like fire, because fire red. Oh, it's just red for whatever. Okay. Okay, so there's four different symbols, as we see. There's a triangle which is filled in, a triangle which is hollow, and, you know, pointing upwards and pointing downwards. The symbol we saw was this one. Actually, will this kill us if we get it wrong? Or would it just put us back to here? <laughs> you have died. Duromino. Oh, there's actually uh, death messages in this game? I didn't remember that. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Do we get different deaths? Or is it just going to chuck us off the uh, ledge every time? A nice Toy Story quote there? Oh hey, there's actually different animations here. You have died. Don't take the car, you'll kill yourself. Okay, I haven't seen all of these. Because the puzzle's rather easy to solve. It's this one. But let's have a look at the last one. And I guess you can actually die in this starting area. <laughs> well, great. Get used to the heat. 
I suppose there is a bit of humor in this game, actually. I remember it being very serious. I suppose the unseriousness is in the deaths. Trial and error of this puzzle, really, though. The uh, structures shown on those buttons is important also, but uh, it's not something we're going to see just yet. Oh, hey, there's the telescope. Let's go up here. There's big skulls, because of course. Maybe this place is actually under the Warhammer world. Is that a giant hand? Are these, like, giant bones? Bones of giants? And there's this oddly shaped rock. I don't get why it's this rock in particular. If the game explains it, I don't get it. It explains it, I don't know where it does so. Okay. We've rescued another alchemist, I believe. You have done well. I misjudged you. The four elements. In union, they create the universe. Each one of us commands one, and it gives us strength, but it's temporary. He is a monster. My own murder, I will forgive him, but not the murder of my son. I was a man with many flaws, but Lucian was just a boy. Once I vowed to get revenge. Now, I just want my son back. Find the place where his soul rests. I've never asked this of anyone, but now I ask you. Help me. Okay. And the last one is fire, which is this guy over here. I think... Is it over here? They have been in each of the different corners. I can't go up there. Nope. How does this track... Reminds me of, um... The, uh, soundtrack for, uh... Half-Life. Let's have a look down here. Grandum Eruth Orbis Luna. Okay, that is the symbol for the moon. We saw that earlier. Uh, what's that say? Chimica Vani Orbis Solis. The Latin. Erat, Erat, Qui. Something or other. Okay, and that's the sun. That's the symbol for the sun. Hmm. Planets. Okay, there's an arm there. Uh, it looks like I could put something in there, but I don't have anything. I have this stick. That doesn't work. Let's put it back there. And this one... Rotates the whole planetarium. This is pretty cool. But it doesn't seem to be achieving much at the moment. What they don't want you to know is that all the planets are actually made out of paper mache. Ooh, what's this? Saturnax, Ignis. Isn't that that guy who's eating his. <laughs> Like Greek mythology. Venus. Venus. 
Wouldn't it be... No. Eh, yeah, whatever. Aqua? Yeah, water. Furs? Terra? Yep. Mars? Earth? And Jupiter? Air. Or Jupiron. Everything is close, but it's just slightly off Earth. We're gonna have to find fire somewhere for that guy. Let's go back down here. You actually know where we need to go. Uh, actually, there was that thing here. Yeah, hold on. Let me try something. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember whether this does anything or not. I'm just going to click on it a bunch. Okay, forget that. I thought I had I thought I had vague recollections of if you clicked on it a bunch of times something happened, but perhaps I'm wrong. Okay, let's go back to the laboratory here. Okay. I think in here. Is it in here? Oh, no! Actually, I know where we need to go. Darp, darp. I forgot there's a place. Let's go back here. And we need to go to the library. And go move these again. Okay. Back to here. Let's use our stick on this, I think. Oh no, we could just rotate this. Okay, we have to click on his head. Uh, I think we have to get this aligned with the symbols which are relevant to the alchemist, so... Like... Um... Uh, let's see. That's water. Okay, that's earth. Come on. Rotate. The spot's like moving around. There. No. There. 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 No. There we go. <laughs> Eventually. Okay, here's where we need to use that stick. So there's. It's very dark in here. Poke. That seemed to have changed things. We back off. Okay. We can align it with the different symbols. If I do this, does it do anything? Nope. Oh, it reset. Okay, let's align it. With... I'm gonna have to write these symbols down so I know which ones are relevant. There we go. And what they're related to. Earth and water are fine, but the other two... Okay. Candles. Okay. That's a lot of candles. Can't seem to do anything with them. Oh, hey, it's a mirror. Okay. 
Uh, well, there's these hooks up here, which we can. Yep, we can put the mirror on. You see the candles in them. Huh, how about that? There's a little blue uh, candle there. Is there anything else like that? No. Okay, well. Okay, so let's see. There's a blue candle, and it is next to a tall one, and then a short one. Um, I guess it's this one? No, what about this one? There we go. It just happened to be two exactly the same right next to each other. And I think we found fire. Oh, we don't get a cutscene specific to the one alchemist. And oh well. Enough of all powers is complete. And finally, we are reunited. Cain, Satorius, Melvo, thank God you survived. Now we must plan our escape. You're our only hope, and we're yours. You must learn the secrets of alchemy in our world and retrieve our lost memories. Our time is running out. Do you understand what we're fighting? He'll kill anyone who stands in his way. Look at Alexandria. Lucia. It's all our fault. We've that all he... made mistakes, old friend. Terrible mistakes. Quiet. Maybe now we'll have the chance to correct them. Listen. Why have you come, fool? Did to turn your worthless ore into gold? Did to trade a few pitiful years for eternal life? Or oh, I know, maybe you're the hero of the day. <laughs> you seek the truth, my fool? Shh. Come closer. Listen, and I will utter my truth. A truth so heinous that you will wish you had never looked upon me. Nemesis! Neither your magic nor your dementia can save you. This one has broken through. Others will follow. Speak up, Sartorius. I don't hear you. The great alchemists. Okay, well, they did something there. Hmm. I suppose that was Nemesis, a big, pink, glowing ball of energy. Very odd. Okay, we got this orb. Uh, do we go in here? Nope. Let's, uh, I think this will make, fit in that arm down here. There's people who are thinking that this game is going a bit too quickly. Well, <laughs> there's a lot more to it than just what we've seen so far. As I said, this is pretty much just a beginning area. Let's put that in there. Move that up there. And we have a song. Okay, now, we actually have four different places which we can go to, each of the Worlds, places relevant to each uh, alchemist. 
I think we have to do things from one to another. I don't think you can do them separately. I think you need to get items from some of them to go to other places. Um, I don't have any particular... I mean, here's me talking and I d we don't even know how we're going to be doing this. So, yeah, there's a ding. Yeah. So if I do this, we note the red planet Mers is in the sun. This drains away and... Oh no, actually, this is Mers, the uh, Earth planet. <laughs> Pardon me, I thought it was a fire planet. Easy mistake. Yeah, it's like a palace in the middle of the desert. I think this place is called Iron Dune. down go in there the spinning orb up the top there will send us back to the uh, temple and uh, that's a big painting hmm That cat's got three eyes. I think this is called King Flathead in the Zork worlds, because, you know, <laughs> his head's very flat. <laughs> Let's go out here. Good Lord, who are you? Never mind, stay inside. The hordes nearly broke through. Castle's deserted. I'm the only one left. But I won't desert General Kane. <laughs> Not this bloke. What are you grinning at, eh? <laughs> Okay, fine. That one dude's got to hold back whoever is out there. I don't know. Hordes. It's like a suit of armor. Kind of like conquistador armor. Hmm. There's a door. I can't open it. You have something to say about that? Nope. Well. What's this? It's a cannon. I think. It's got like multiple barrels on it. Can I do anything with it? No. What about over here? There's another suit of armor. More medieval armor. Oh, hey, what was that? There's a little thing on your belt. I can't do anything with it. Hmm. What's back here? Ooh, nice. It's a dog. It eats biscuits. Okay. You can put its tail. It doesn't do anything. We can open up its butt. And apparently it's not loaded. Okay. Uh, oh, what's this? It's a broken sword. Uh, confusingly, the pickup icon is still there, even though we picked up the item. That's more just to tell us that we can put it back. Um, which I don't think you really need to do as a piano. Apparently, we can't have a look at it. fireplace with another part of, of a sword oh there we go 
We just stick it together. Take it. Take it! You should be with me. You belong by my side. Children draw pictures. Men fight. If you didn't sleep with the Archbishop's daughter, I wouldn't even know that you were a man. I don't want you to talk about her. Who? Your whore? Maybe I'll try her myself. Finish. I said... Finish it! Hmm, okay. I'll pick up the sword. Well, if that was, uh... Cain, I suppose that was his son, Lucius, was it? Hmm. Seemed to be very close. Um... Though sometimes it takes losing someone to know how much you've lost. Can I go through this door? No, I can't. Uh, we have this sword. Can I do anything over here? Hey, knight, this sword looks like it's relevant to you. Oh, it's a scabbard. How about that? Yeah, the door opened. Did the other door open? No. Okay. this the age of archery there's a crossbow and a bow this the age of the future okay weird weapons suit of samurai armor I think their armor worked like that, but okay. Can we have a look at the rest of it? No. I'll just put all the visors up. I mean, this is Zork. This isn't Earth, so. The Age of Barbarity. Axes, slings, clubs. More axes and a stick. <laughs> Actually, isn't that an actual weapon? I'm pretty sure it is. I can't remember the name of it. The Age of Cain. It's like a... A blunderbuss or something there. A bottle? And a... Thadium particles. Oh, what? Thadium particles detected. Fatality predicted in 45 seconds. Okay, let's close that. That doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> uh, that's just got something massively powerful like that there. <laughs> hmm. Okay, that's a case. Right. Yeah, I don't think we should fiddle around with that. What's this? A thing. Another thing. Some other thing, okay. I want to see, can we read that note there? Oh, and it's not very clear, but the uh, case here is actually broken. You can kind of see some of the glass shattered around the edge there. It's actually clearer on my other monitor. <laughs> but uh, in the game, it's not very clear to me. Okay. 
There's a knight there. Like the suit of armor we saw. Samurai. Like the suit of armor we saw. There's a conquistador. There's a... I'm guessing that's a hoplite. And... Another knight? Hmm. Okay. Well, we can see his face. We can maybe see his face? Got his visor down. Got his visor down too. Okay, well... Let's do that. I'm guessing that there's going to be a few other... Uh, suit of armor around here. What's this? The Age of Powder. It's like a musket and a bomb. Yep. Wait, what? Pistol and a massive cannon. Also a missile. I don't know if... Is that a missile? I don't really know if those would be made off out of gunpowder, but... I can't have a look at all the placards. It's kind of annoying. Hey, knight. I'll close your lid. Uh, the conquistador. We can see your head, so I'll... Or see your face, so I'll keep your visor open. What's up here? Oh, there's another suit of armor. Actually, this one looks more like the other... Looks more like the other armor we saw. Close that visor. Because that one was closed. And here's a room. Books. Anything on the shelves? No. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's some books here. The Construction of the Empire. What's that say? Walker's Guide to Rocks and Minerals. Something or other. What's this say? The Administratibus Propica. Mirage from the sand to the sand? Can't read what that says. Can we click on any of these? No, we can't. Just see the titles of the books. The only shelf we can look at. Okay. The joy of encryption. Oh, joy. Mission of protecting Lord Dimwit from the riot riotous residents of the frigid river valley who oppressed opposed the giant statue his royal excessivity excessively highness was constructing at the expense of the neighborhood. Flathead's men were told to memorize the last line of the popular Zorkium anthem, you ain't nothing but a hellhound. This signal would distinguish Flathead's undercover men from the local marauders, but everyone forgets a code now and then. And when it came right down to sword point, who knows the last line to that song anyways? With his men stammering, you ain't nothing but a hellhound, which is the first line rather than you ain't no friend of mine, which is indeed the last, Lord Dimwit lost 3,000 of his best men and vowed to make Elvis Flathead require list required listening for his troops in the future. In a battle between mathematics and magic, magic will always have the upper hand. In the course of Vice Regent Sayova's campaign against the powerful Enchanters Guild, Sayova's spies would attempt to send encrypted reports back to the Castle of Zork, only to find that the numbers would rearrange themselves before the very eyes of the Codebreakers, forming nonsensical non sequiturs such as Thaumaturgy is a walk on a slippery walk, and Religion is a smile on a yipple. Sayafars then implemented the Zenigma me mechanical encryption device, replacing the more fallible mathematic memnotic systems with pulsing electricity. Clearly, where wizards are concerned, the best secret is the secret you don't have to hide. Would be that by doing a rudimentary exchange of the... Yeah. Would be that by doing a rudimentary exchange of the numerical base conversions for the corresponding characters, one could establish an initial translational tab table of values. Applying this method, we can reconstruct the first message fragment to be while the sun is between the second and third quarter. However, the creators of this scheme predicted such an obvious decryption approach and took measures to ensure that any such attempt would not only fail to produce, produce the real message, 
but through careful wording by the encrypt encrypting party would result in a convincingly realistic false message, which occasionally humorous and often disastrous results. Cryptologists have long considered their science to be more entertainment than work. It is nonetheless in so in Zork with its particular Quendoran fondness for the odd puzzle and Palimpsest? Palimpsest? To the Enchanter's encryption is a game, a magical way of life. Have you ever had the experience of a furious enchanter rushing at you as you leave the market, screaming at the top of his lungs, Zooka Zooka Zoo, only to stop dead in his tracks, unable to remember if he is casting a spell that will bless you with sharp hearing for the remainder of your natural life, or turn your recently purchased eggs into overripe cabbage? Odds are he's attended a top thaumatological college, been given a book with a few decent, fairly powerful spells, and spent a good deal of time trying to memorize all of the trendy new incantations. But let's face it, if those magic words weren't encrypted, he'd be out of a job. Right, okay. As I circled, encryption is a game. Everyone forgets a code now and then. The best secret is the secret you don't have to hide. Okay. Dear Kane, I have long dwelt on the power of air, but not considered it as a source of purification. As such at such velocities as your blueprints describe, I feel sure it would tear impurities from even the very core of evil. I'm certain none but the purest metal could withstand it. Could withstand it. Destruction or purity, a perfect solution. Still, I have some misgivings. Before air, your plan suggests the simultaneous combination of forces of fire, earth, water, and earth. This must necessar necess necessarily be an explosive combination, but not an impossibly impossible problem. I have long experimented with injection molding for limb replacement. As long as the mold is inserted into the case holding before applying heat, my experiments have been successful. Satorius. Okay. I suppose this is, uh, Kane's bedroom. Order more nitro. Okay, just to make sure you know, I'm gonna stab my desk with this dagger. Right, uh, turn around. It's like, why is this wall important? What's this? <clears throat> Kane, your pathetic attempts to harness the lethal magic of Thadium were futile. The gr guild is now supporting my cause, and we have something far more powerful than Thadium. In five years, your precious Iron Dune will be nothing more than dust blowing in a wasteland, and your men as weak and womanish as your own Lucian. Elrond. Jeez. <laughs> Everyone's so mean. Oh, there's a book. There's a uh, draw here. What's this say? March 7th, 925. General Kane. I have been made aware of the presence of Thadium in your vicinity and of a particular invention which may assist me in my battles. Whatever you require to fund your experiment, I will gladly provide. Syver, Vice Regent and General of the Royal Quendoran Army. Estuary, 29th, 1925. The Enchanters Guild have formed a coalition and I am losing control of the wastelands. Lord Elrond is under their control. I can no longer rely on the magic of the scroll. Syver. Captain, I am missing 20 sacks of gunpowder. How can I defeat my enemies abroad when Iron Dude itself is not secure? Look into it. Kane. Okay. It's just some letters he's gotten or something like that. What's this thing else there? Here we go. May we always be together. Hmm. Okay. What's this? Five brave fellows stood guard over my dungeon. Three are blind, two can see, but as a whole, they form the key. Okay. Nitro. Char! <laughs> um... I gotta leave that there. For the moment. I have recollections of things exploding. <laughs> that Thadium in particular. Um... Or the radiation killing us. One of the two, as it said. Okay. That's the lady in the, uh picture we saw, which was actually exactly the same picture. And that's, I suppose, Lucian. Hmm. <laughs> Why is there manacles on the bed? 
Do I want to know? There's a chest here. I can't open it. I don't have a key. Fifth, five Oracle. I don't know what to make of Lucian's odd behavior, painting pictures of naked women and then hiding them on his own easel. He's becoming a man with a man's free will, but what if I'm missing gunpowder and supplies? Am I to tolerate insurrection in the name of my son's independence? It seems as if he wants nothing better than to irritate me. Much more of this, or I'll be forced to send him to his mother in Antharia. Okay. Is there anything else there? Nope. That's a pretty cool lamp there on the desk. Another tapestry. Oh, that's, that's like a uh, wardrobe. I can't open it though. Maybe it's locked. Actually, let's get this. I think I just remembered what this is for. Okay. Leave. Go here. And hey, chest. Boom. There goes the lock. Let's have a look. It's full of books and scrolls. Breaking the siege of Iron Dune. Could build bridges with enemy distracted. Split troops. Okay. Destroy cannons at, and Elrond will fall. There's Iron Dune. That looks like the building which we're inside. Elrond's cannons. Infiltrate through here to breach lines. Copper Hill. Decoy with powder. Okay. The Eastlands. Okay. Grey Mountain Province. Forbidden Lands. Frost Allheim or something like that. Flathead Fjord. Port Fuzel. Goma. Port of Tumper. I think it says. The forests of Famathria. CD3? Benshire. Aragarth Province. Wild. Old. Something. Flathead Mountains. Desert River Province. Iron Dune. Okay, so if that's Iron Dune, then we're down here currently. Uh, we can see symbols here as well. Castle. So that symbol is a castle. That symbol there is a monastery, which is apparently there. Conservatory, which is there. Asylum, that's up there. And Temple of Agrippa, which is there. Okay. Is the Temple of Agrippa where we were at the beginning? If so, that means that's there. Okay, so we've like teleported. Hmm. The other places must be important. I'm playing dumb. Uh, let's have a look at this. General, I have found some items pertinent to your collection. The most remarkable weapons of assassination. A sword that masks as a snake and a clever cannon disguised as a cat. Lord Flathead himself commissioned the menagerie of arms to show that his compassion for animals runs as deep as his nature is violent. I will arrange a showing at your convenience. Sincerely, M.K. Frobsworth. October 16, 1930. Uh, 930. 930? Whatever. Dearest Thaddeus, I lie here in my bed and listen to the poetics and I miss you. Damn Elrond, I know you are fighting for what you believe in. I hate him for what he's done to you, and I hate him even more for keeping you from me. But still, there are those I hate more. I'm so jealous. Thaddeus, you can pick up a sword and gore your enemy in the name of all you love. My enemy is Besame and soft-spoken, and she wears a dress and sleeps in your bed. My heart... Would that I could be your wife, that we could have a family, something more than stolen moments, this lost life of mine. I cling to our dear mad doctor and his dreams of oblivion. For in eternity with you, I will endure all his pretentious alchemical trium trumpetings, and fifty Lady Canes, and a hundred Elrons, as ever, Sophia. Okay. Mumbemba 3rd, 1943. Kane. I read about Elrond and his alliance with the Enchanters Guild, and I wept for you. These are dangerous times, and I will not sleep until all those who mean you harm are put to eternal rest. 
but I take heart knowing that we are deciphering more secrets of this magical science with each new day. Soon, love, we will not worry about power. Sophia. Okay, Sophia is one of the other alchemists, and I'm guessing since these are in a chest, uh, in Kane's room, that Thaddeus is Kane's first name. Uh, January 16, 1929. Have I read this? Darling Thaddeus, crushed the barbarian hordes and ev ever the grand Sayavar seems content. Congratulations at your recent victories, but take heed upon your return. The battle was far from over. In your absence, Elrond has discovered a powerful scroll and I am scared. We are deep into the work, great work. If they learn of our secrets, the Enchanters Guild and others will surely kill us. Sophia. Okay. Is there anything else here which we can look at? Line of fire, ring of fire. Is this books? I don't think they're relevant. I can't read them or anything, so. Yep, okay. Interesting. Can we open this? Like a latch there, but I can't click on it. Hmm, okay. Uh, what's up here? How are we going for time? Okay, well, we'll probably be calling it here soon, but... This is like a... Gambling den? I don't know. Oh, it's foosball. Oh, damn it, the ball's in a place where we can't hit it. Boo! It's one of the, yeah, the legs of the goalkeepers are going through the, uh, going through the model. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, okay. What's this? Press one. End of stream or new game? Ah, uh, probably the end of the stream. I really only do two games. If you've just arrived, hello, welcome. Uh, but yeah, I started... Uh, about four and a half hours ago, so let's see. One. Oh, what'd that do? Okay. Huh. How about that? It's a pool table. It's like a trick shot pool table. That's pretty cool. That's really quite satisfying to watch, just watching all the balls go into the pockets. Though they don't actually seem to be pockets. They're just like little pits. The tables are a little odd. Oh well. Okay. Four, three, five, nine, seven, one. Okay. Hmm. I'm sure this is going to be relevant somehow. First button, candles and broomsticks. Oh, okay, this is the name of the thing. Second button, shaving a cat. Third button, fishing in the desert. Fourth button, triple splitter. Fifth button, shoot. Okay. I can't do much about the, uh... Did I say about it? The sounds of battle. There is a war going on outside, so every now and then we just hear that. Is that like a duke jukebox there? door there but I can't do anything about it there's something there but I can't look at it and there's a bar there but yeah I can't look at it okay I think we've seen everything here 
Now let's go down here. Oh hey, there's another suit of armor. I think we solved that puzzle. There was a noise there. I think a door opened. Here's another bedroom. With all these uh, canvases around the place, I'm guessing this is Lucius's bedroom. Hmm. It's a mirror. We can't see ourselves in the mirror. Okay. We're a vampire. Down? Oh, what's this? Gunpowder. Sure, we'll take a bag of gunpowder. What could go wrong? What about this? Lucian, I've decided that you will be joining me on the hunt next week. I think you will come to appreciate the art of the sport. We don't have much time to prepare. You don't seem to have any kind of knife of your own, so I thought you might make something of my old broken one. There's no scabbard for it. An empty one will do. Dang. Okay. Yep. Have a look at... I think that's all there. What about the bed? I think there was stuff on the bed. We might have to go and have a look over here. Oh? Uh, apparently I can't look at that book on the bed. It must not be relevant. Hmm. Someone's an artist. Again, that... That looks so cool. The stand actually looks... It just looks flat, though. Don't know how it's standing up. Lucian, I love you. Have I written that you that today? I'm distracted and playing quite horribly. I've been having the nightmares again. The same ones. My father is performing some Zorgastrian fire ritual, and the flames leap up higher and higher until they devour him. He screams in pain, but I cannot move. Then the sky grows dark, and I cannot see the sun. I don't know what it means. I know I worry about his as his illness worsens. Come tonight. I am afraid. Alexandria. Uh, Alexandria Wolf. Harmony of the Spheres. It says. Can't see what that says. Something or other. River Conservatory. I'm sure we've read that word before, but I can't read it. What it is. Box C. It's a ticket. Uh... Lucian, you are right. Something is going on. We must leave. I wrote father telling him everything and asking him to marry us. Father will miss me, but he un he'll understand. We will escape to the wastelands. To the westlands. I'm not frightened, Lucian. I know everything will be as right will be alright if I am with you. Does that sound childish? I've never felt more a woman, and I am, as always, your exam Alexandria. Aw, oh, can we take this? No, okay. That's just going to sit there. What about this? Hundreds dead in Thadium explosion. Mysterious explosion. Free press call. In a blast of heat and fury, Thaddeus Research Facility Number 2 disappeared this morning, taking much of the idyllic village... Village? <laughs> There's a smelling mistake there. ...of Stonehead with it. Company officials continue to deny any connection between the company and the blast, saying, As you know, it's been several centuries since we'd sacrificed a virgin to the fire gods. We were due for this one. Critics, on the other hand, point to the smoking remnants of Facility Number 1 and the strange mineral thadium, which eyewitnesses claim to have seen smuggled in under cover of night. Okay. Hmm. Uh, it's probably good that we weren't messing around with that thadium we found in the, uh, museum then. If that's what happens. It, it seems rather irresponsible to have it just sitting around in here, but... Hmm. We can paint. <laughs> oh. How about that? Eh. Eh. Come on. Paint. It's like those. What's it called? Those 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 uh things you scratch away. I suppose like a a scratchy ticket. All those colourful pieces of paper where they've got all the rainbow colours beneath them. <clears throat> okay, what's this say? Oh, pardon me. One, build bridge. Two, ambush. 
3. Dig trenches. 4. Latrine cleaning. 5. Coup d'etat. 6. Infiltrate and destroy. 7. Serve mess. 8. Burn and pillage. 9. Split the troops. 10. Distraction. 11. Drop thadium. 12. Verify message. Okay. Odd. Uh, can I have a look at these paintings back here? No, I can't. Uh. Okay. What's this? There's a painting in there. I think that's the fireplace. And it looks like it's been burnt. Yeah. What's this? Huh. There's a violin. And it's a painting of two people dancing. Okay. Is there anything else on the desk which I can look at? No. It's just a whole bunch of art supplies. Can't look at those books. What about this coat rack? Nothing. Nothing there. These books. There's nothing. Okay. Well, I think we'll go down here. Has that opened? Nope. Okay. Well, we'll go here and we'll save it and we'll continue with this next time. Uh, and what's it called? Session one. There we go. And uh, we'll continue with Zork Nemesis next time. Hmm. Gonna have to be puzzling out all these uh, things arrayed before us. I, as I said earlier, I don't know how separate this place is from everywhere else. We might go to some of the other locations we will have we have open to us. Have a look around. I don't know. We'll see. I can't remember whether we need things from other places or not. I think they're all pretty self-contained. I could be wrong on that. It's been ages since I played this, but I'm glad to be playing it again. I rather like this. Um, and the puzzles are pretty good. So yeah. I will... Thank you. Poor Wanderer. Whoop. Don't give up. Your goal is close, and the rewards are great. Okay. Um, it's the button which I press to... turn the screen off. <laughs> the hint button? I might have to have a look at that and change it. Oh well. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again next time where we'll continue with Zork Nemesis.